All right, let's talk about NVIDIA's new RTX 3060. This is probably gonna be their best selling GPU this year. It's kind of like the best valued graphics card for gaming. And there is a lot to talk about. Now, I'm just going through the boring stuff first, like the benchmarks and performance. There's just cooler stuff to talk about in a bit. So this performs as expected. It's good, but it's not surprising, right? It performs similar to an RTX 2070, not as good as a 2070 Super and not as good as a 3060 Ti. But if you can get your hands on one at the MSRP of $329, it's a fairly priced GPU. But just the presence of this thing, like the mere existence of yet another SKU that you could potentially have stock on and be able to purchase, that's a good thing. Interestingly, it does have 12 gigs of RAM, which is more than the 3060 Ti, which is more than a 3080. But the reason why it has 12 gigs of RAM is because, well, I'm assuming that when AMD kind of pre-announced their upcoming 6700 GPU, that thing was supposed to come with 12 gigs of RAM. So Nvidia, being Nvidia, they put 12 gigs of RAM into this card as well to compete. So is the RTX 3060 a good GPU? For sure, like it has great 1080p performance and it doesn't cost a crazy amount of money. I personally would have liked this thing to be 299, like just under 300 bucks, but I think it's very fairly priced at 329. Now the thing is, if you go into a store and you have the option somehow of being able to purchase a 3060 Ti or a regular 3060, and this would cost you $70 more, I'd go for the 3060 Ti. It's a little bit more, but I just feel like you get better kind of long-term use on this GPU in terms of just gaming performance, as well as a nicer looking design. But the truth is stock is a very real issue. So having access to this at all is awesome. Okay, I wanna move on to the more interesting topic. A few days ago, Nvidia announced that this GPU, the RTX 3060 would be software crippled so that it had half the hash rate that it's actually capable of. And this is in reference to its mining speed, its mining capabilities. And it's only affecting the RTX 3060, not any of the previously released RTX 30 series GPUs, just specifically the RTX 3060. And the reasoning behind it, at least the public PR statement, is that they're doing it for gamers to alleviate some of the supply issues that they've had by removing the mining capabilities or the appeal of this GPU to miners, right? Because if you reduce the hash rate on this thing, then for miners, they're just, they're not interested in this thing. It doesn't do what crypto miners want to do with a RTX GPU. So yeah, I tested it and it's definitely crippled. It mines Ethereum like a GTX 1060. It's terrible. And Nvidia has also stated that they're gonna be making these mining specific GPUs. They call them CMPs. And these are devices without any kind of display outputs. They're just built specifically to mine. Now they've gone on record saying that the production of these CMPs won't impact the production of their GeForce line, right? Their RTX and GTX cards supposedly won't be reduced because of the presence of the CMP line. Maybe it's true, like maybe they're just selling off components that they wouldn't be able to sell in their gaming products, but it's been controversial. Like to gimp your brand new RTX 3060 like this has been a little bit weird to say the least. There are some people who are understandably suspicious or even upset by this, right? Linus has an interesting video on it. I'll link it down below. But me personally, I think this is a good thing. I think that the interests of NVIDIA as a company, like trying to make money, aligns nicely with the interests of the consumer to, to get access to these cards, right? The people who get screwed are the crypto miners. They're, I mean, look at the hash rates. If you know anything about crypto mining, these numbers are not impressive. These are not particularly efficient. And unless these cards are really cheap, I don't think they're gonna sell well, especially because the resale on this stuff is gonna be terrible. So by doing this out of the gate, by halving the hash rate of RTX 3060, and by introducing this terrible lineup of mining cards, I think the consumers just win. The consumers being gamers, right? Now, miners know right on day one that this is not a great card for mining. So if you're interested in picking this up as a miner, you're, you're not gonna. Maybe there's gonna be softer tweaks. You can you know, adjust the BIOS and use custom drivers, but most of these cards are gonna go to gamers instead of crypto miners. And even for Nvidia, a company that's intent on making as much money as possible, they like that. They would rather sell a gaming GPU to a gamer than a miner because a gamer will hold on to the GPU for several years, make use of the tech that Nvidia spends a lot of money researching. Whereas miners, they sell the GPU after a year or two and it goes on the used market and affects the pricing of Nvidia's whole GPU structure. It's, it's a thing. So Nvidia keeping their 
their main demographic as gamers and satisfying the needs of gamers, it's a good thing. It's not just like, you know, any GPU that they sell is good and whoever buys it, no. Nvidia would way rather have people that are gamers purchase their GPUs, for sure. It's better economic value for them. And it also works out for gamers as well. Now, I wanna just state one thing. Just because Nvidia likes money, and they do, and they're trying to make a ton of it, it doesn't mean they don't care about gamers. Because the truth is, gamers make them money. They care about gamers because they make them a lot of money. So there we have it. That's just my thoughts on this whole thing. Okay, that is the RTX 3060 video. I feel like regardless of this whole hash rate nerf, it's still gonna be super hard to get, like extraordinarily difficult to get the 3060. You got supply chain issues on multiple components. You have bots that are buying up and reselling these things. It sucks, I know. Okay, you know what? I'll give mine away. If you're looking for an RTX 3060 from EVGA, I will give this one away. Just comment below with, with your favorite color. That's all you need to do. Okay, for real. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.